Carolina Panthers will have a ton of competitors on the coaching carousel this cycle. Tons of competitors, more than they've had the last two cycles, which means Carolina might not get its first choice, and they very well might not get their second choice of a coach. This is why, in terms of what's most likely to happen, again, not who they should hire, but what's likely going to happen, Miami OC Frank Smith should be viewed as the favorite to get the job, the favorite for who Carolina will get, because the top two options might have better options than Carolina. Ben Johnson doesn't want to come to Carolina. That's how it feels. Justina Anderson had the report last month. He's asking for $15 million. And it seems like that's the only price tag that the Carolina Panthers are the only team getting that price tag from Ben Johnson, trying to dissuade them from reaching out or having the Panthers express interest in him. We'll see if he ultimately interviews with Carolina. Carolina has requested to interview with him again. And he could still get Tennessee. He could get the Chargers job. He could get the Seattle job, which are better jobs than Carolina right now. Bobby Slowick's name wasn't a hot name when we were talking about him weeks ago, but after Saturday night in prime time and the Texans being in the playoffs, it's become a hotter name. When you flash that graphic up about that Washington staff and you look at the other guys who were on that staff, people know Bobby Slowick now. And one of the teams looking for a coach is Washington. And Washington makes a lot of sense. New ownership, he's been there before. That seems like a better opportunity than coaching the Carolina Panthers. Frank Smith would provide creativity that Frank Reich lacked. Usually you try to hire the inverse of what you fired. The Panthers still are going to want to hire an offensive coach, but Frank Smith, while not the play caller for Mike McDaniel's offense in Miami, he is a play designer, and when you watch what Miami does, the plays are so creative, and that's why there are so many guys running open, and Tua's skill set's been compared to Bryce, so if you want somebody to try and get more out of him, he could help. He has an offensive line coach background, a tight ends coach background. Carolina could use more at those positions. It's a misperception that all offensive coaches are inherently creative, naturally creative. Frank Reich wasn't. Frank Smith seems to be that, and there's more to being a head coach than being a play caller. Frank Smith's well-rounded, Frank Smith is creative, and those are things that go his way. And this is my, maybe the most important thing when it comes to Carolina specifically, separating Carolina or separating Frank Smith from, other, from some of the other guys Carolina's interview. Frank Smith has the same agent that a Giro Evero has. Now, why does that matter? Agents they play such a huge role in these hiring cycles. That's probably the most. The NFL is oversaturated in the way that it's reported. Everybody across the country talks about the NFL. But if there's something that is not saturated, if there's something that is undercovered, under-talked about in the sport this time of year, it is the agent piece. It should be widely reported everywhere who the agents are for these head coaches because... That matters when connecting dots between teams. If the agent of Ajiro Evero goes to the Panthers and say, listen, if you hire my client, Frank Smith, Ajiro is going to be open to coming back and be in the D.C., well, that's important. That is significant. And I think that would make it a pretty good hire if you keep the guy that led the number three total defense and pair him with an offensive guy like Frank Smith. That might be the thinking. So this is how I view the hierarchy for the Panthers. Ben Johnson and Bobby Sloak would be the best case scenarios for Carolina. Those are your number one, number two options. And then you try to bring a Giro Evero back as the DC in both cases. Ben Johnson, also the same agent as Frank Smith and a Giro Evero. Then you have the most likely choice, which is Frank Smith. And then, as we talked about as a dark horse yesterday, Todd Munkin with the Ravens, he's your worst case. He's the guy that you feel like he wouldn't say no if you offered the job to him but Frank Smith might be a little bit higher on the totem pole than him. Frank Smith becoming the most likely candidate for the Panthers.